Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, sitting there in that tractor, and yep, yep, there I am. Anyway, last time I was going to sneak off and go get the plow, but I think if we want to oil seed radish this to get another layer of fertilization tilled into it, I wonder, I'm well, I'm assuming we can do that before we plow. I think that's right. We'll plow that under? Well, we'll, we'll find out. We can give it a try. Um, let's find a place to put this away for the night without driving it all the way back to the farm. So if I hit P for shop and go over to placeables, was that the name of it? Yeah, the category. Let's get something that we can pull some equipment into out on this part of the map. We knew we were going to have to do that anyway. Could go this route. I really like driving through this guy here or this one here. Um... Let's go this route if we can. And we can put the potato harvester in there and and maybe even store some seed out here too. Hmm. Will we be pulling through? You know, we probably will not. We don't really have the place around this, you know, where we can get to the other side. So let's go this route instead. Buy you and put you where? Now, boy, I've got to try to remember the controls for this. Let's get to where we can see it all. I think we're looking at this area here. Although, if we get over into this area, we can... Yeah, but it doesn't uh, It doesn't fit the terrain. Let's see. To rotate, if I roll the mouse, it cannot be placed here. Okay, I'll roll the mouse to zoom. Okay, Q and E. There it is. Q and E. We did this. No, that's not going to work that well. Let's see, what is that, Q? I'm just worried that we're going to have uh, equipment pulling into this and hitting it. Um, all right, let's look at this area. We did something. We can't rotate at 90 degrees and face the road. And I'm afraid the hill is going to go too high up in there. Boy, I wish this... Although I don't know that it doesn't terraform. I'm just afraid of spending $14,000 to find out that it doesn't. Ooh, I can kind of push up the hill here a little bit. If we did this, then we're in between field 4 right behind there and field 3 behind me. That's what I'm trying to reason my way through. I just wish that the f grass would drop down when I hit yes or enter or whatever it is I'm going to click. And so that our tractors don't hit the roof trying to pull into there. Let's find out what happens. Is that as far as we can go? I'm looking also at the lowest point over there that he doesn't go up into the air. I think we're okay right like that. We can still... Hmm. Can we drive past that? All right, let's go this route. Um, this way. Let's just see what we've got here. I'm pretty sure this is worse. But that would... Okay, I like that. Although I wish I could change my view. If I... Uh, center click and rotate now if I right click and rotate now I can't move my map I can't look at the front that's a little frustrating I th okay I can do this that's somewhat parallel to the road I'd say that's a little more parallel to the road we'll go with that okay so that will look the best although it let's find out what the ground does and I guess I've got to, what, escape to get out of that? Yeah. And then P, and then just go and look at it. Hmm. Don't know if I'm going to like that. Um, but whether I am or not, it's what we got. Nope, nope, nope. Back up. Grab that again. And let's try the other WASD. There we go. <laughs> not the S E. D, F. Yeah, that, that really messes things up. So can we even use that? Yeah, it is too bad that the ground doesn't terraform underneath it and flatten out. It should. It really should. That would be the proper way to do something like this, since you don't have the ability to, to bulldoze the ground ahead of time to, to build a plot. But we'll just have to make that work. And I think it will, actually. All right. Let's get this guy parked into here. Uh, 
little too far. There we go. Oop, a little bump there. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, something like that. Alright, we're in. We're out of the rain now. That's what I wanted to do. Pop you off. And what? Let's go plant oil seed radish. No, we gotta go harvest first. That's right. We've got... Although the soy could wait for the morning. It could. Let's get this growing. I think that's probably a higher priority. Let's get this growing. Next episode, or possibly the end of this one. Yeah, it may, it may work out. By advance time and, and get to the next morning. Or we could harvest at night with all the lights on. Let's see what that's like. Now, I, you know, I didn't actually watch the last episode before I hit record again. I sure hope it came out right. I'd be really disappointed if I got to redo both of these. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. If not, I just had a lot of fun playing the game. And I'll just have to explain everything that I did. I turned down the wrong road. So let's go through the pig farm. Let's go cross country here. Now, what were the lights? on the keyboard in this game. Seven days, it's an F. Although, turning, I can't hit that button. F. Hey, it worked. Good. Didn't have to sprain my hand trying to reach for the L. That's good. Yeah, if I keep to the low road, I think that's what gets me to the farm. To the left. Yeah, that works. I was going to say we'd get the... Uh, Get that thing harvested, but there are three stages of harvest. We can wait a little while before we lose anything. So let's get the oil seed radish going. It'll definitely wait till the morning on the harvest. Now, sowers, sowers, sowers. Are they up here? What was up here? I know plows and cultivators are up here. And the harvester used to be up here, he's not anymore. Alright, these are kind of looking like sowers. Yeah. What are you? Ah, you're the uh, the sweet potato. No, the sugar bead equipment. There's a couple of sowers. There's some harvester or uh, cultivators over there. And uh, the plow. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at that guy on the far left. Let's hook up and make sure that's right. And how do I check that? Was it O? No. Was it Y? There we go. That's oilseed radish right there, isn't it? That's right. That's grass. I want to say wheat, barley, canola, soy, and oilseed radish. Yep, we're good. Uh, quantity, we've got 1,500. I don't know what that means anymore. Let's go fill it up. Am I clear there? Yeah. And so the F turns on the headlights. Hit it again, you turn on your working lights. And then hit it again, you get high beams. You get good selection of lighting. So I think we could do a little nighttime harvesting just for fun. Yeah, do I have any seed over here? If not, we've got one sitting on the ground over there at the, uh, the market. Now, how did I do this? That's all fertilizer over there. This is seed over here. Yeah, we've got a whole load of it. And the trick is getting close enough to it. It's easier to pull up alongside than to back in. It really has a very small radius of influence. I can't see what I'm doing. Ah. Uh, Let's see, nine. That helps. Get up to about there. Alright, um, are we in range? Are We are. Arr. Ah, up. Oh. Whoops. So apparently we loaded the one from underneath first. Of course. 
but we aren't sitting on the sower. Good. All right, am I missing any steps? Pull out here. Let's see. I think it was N that closes up our seed hatch there. Yeah. That opens and closes. Kind of neat. And... There was nothing else to do, right? This doesn't also fertilize. No. Okay. Kind of weird to, to fertilize your your crop that's meant to fertilize. Get two at a two at a time there. Now we could set this guy to uh, set a worker to finish this job. And then we can come back and do the harvesting right now. That might be a better plan. And yeah, we'll see when we get there. We'll do a row or two ourselves and just see the process. It looks like a road over there. Coming in hot. There we go. Alright, best plan. Where am I? I'm over there still, aren't I? No. No, I'm way over on the other side of the, the mill. That's right. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd bought that one. It would have been a little closer to the uh, home base. We're, we're a country block away. A country mile away. Clear there. Clear there. Go for it. Don't take out the sign. Um, what was the horsepower of this tractor? You know, I don't remember. I think it should be able to handle those potatoes, though. If it can handle some of the other things, it should be able to handle that. I'm thinking this is like a 250 or 220. 270? We bought the souped-up engine, didn't we? Yeah, we pull over here and get off the road. I'll check it. can break the speed limit with this one. It's got some power to him. Alright, let's take this wide. Come in like so. Unfold it. Seems like that was X. Or not. C? No. <laughs> Alright, F1. What do we got? How do you open this guy up? Detach, turn on, higher, lower, select, toggle. Do I need to be... Let's see here. It was G that switched you, right? Not showing there, but G doesn't do anything. Okay. Open cover, ridge marker, Z. There's our ridge markers. Those are pretty interesting. Choose which side you want. Seems like we've, I've wanted to demonstrate this a few times and it never worked when I wanted to. Maybe this time we'll actually get to do that. But I'm apparently this does not unfold. We are there. Okay, I thought these guys out here would hop out and do something. Let me do that again. Z? Just that one. So what are these? Hmm... So when the sower drops down, these must drop down too, but I don't understand what they do. I guess we'll just have to wait to see it happen. Um, what is this, this tractor? Garage. We have got... Oh, he was a different color. It's this one that... Mm, I guess so. I guess we painted him black. I see. So you are 263 horsepower. Okay. Top speed of 37. Uh, we broke that for 39. Alrighty. Quite expensive a day, but money doesn't mean anything right now. Now we're just playing for fun. Back and back. So, remind myself of how this works. Of course, H is higher worker. V is to lower. Let's do this way. Mouse button over there does what? That lowers. And this one turns the seed on. Okay. Ridge marker Z. Let's do that one. 
right there. And let's get this guy in position. F1. And he's going to track real close to the back of the wheel. So I want to go right about like so. All right. So this one. Yeah, we're sewing. So head in like this. Now, Ridge Marker is going to put a mark out there. And we're going to try to shoot for when we come back. I've got to remember just how that works. I'm drifting over here, though. Now, one thing about hiring it out, they make it perfectly straight every time. And I kind of wanted to see how this thing's going to turn with a worker. So they go hire it right at the end of the row so we can see if this works or not, if there's enough room at that end. This end, there should be. Alright, that's maintaining pretty straight. I'm impressing myself here. Going straight rows, one of the last things you want to do is do it yourself. Alright, let's hire this out. Alright, I'm no longer controlling it. Let's sit back and watch. He pulled the marker in. He don't need no stinking ridge marker. Would be nice if the... Uh, if the hired worker would activate the ridge marker so you can see it happening like it's meant to be. But he does have the room to turn around. Okay, that's what I was really curious about. But I guess you would be running your front wheel where that ridge marker was. Let's get to... Oh, it's center point. Look at that. The ridge marker would hit dead center. Okay, that's how it works. That's right. So that's how you line up your row so you know you're, you're coming right along... Uh, side your original path yeah that works good all right well let's let him do this job there should be no obstructions to worry about other than the rocks over there at that end we may have to come back and finish that part very possible let's toggle over to our massey ferguson here and grab the no e let's grab the harvester what am I doing? Got to get this going first. And we have not bought a new harvester. When we bought all that money, we decided not to spend it on a harvester yet. Because we're still just dealing with these little fields here. So, and field three is big enough to probably qualify for a little bit bigger harvester. This guy could use a bigger harvester. I like that. And this guy too. We'll get another harvester when we get into harvesting, you know, these guys when we get into here. And it would be nice to pick up this group here before the game, before the series is done. And a bigger harvester would be nice for this one. In fact, I might just drop a, a path across here and make two fields out of it. Don't know. Kind of hard to... I guess if you went this way, then if you line up just right, your next row does all this, and then come back and you start doing this again. That might work like a, you know, a good pattern for that one. But let's. We're in here. We've got fuel. Fire him up. Move out. And I'm trying to remember if there was a better way. There's. You can hear me better when I'm inside. To do this field. I don't think there was one way that was better than another. Two goes out to that side. So I guess no matter which side you start on. One side's going to have the tube, and one side isn't, so it really doesn't matter. Soy took a long time to fill a harvester. So we wouldn't necessarily need to be sitting out here with a trailer and ready to go. That's right. This harvester could probably do more than half the field, so just one dump in the middle, and that would be it. Um, this one was tricky. Was it G to switch over to that one and then V to lower it? It was. Okay. And then you got a G back and V to start? Boy, I don't remember now. Unfold. Ah, unfold. Let's get out here where we can see things. X. Yeah, we got to do that first. O, of course, moves the pipe. We don't need that right now. Uh, enable straw swath. We don't have a choice here. It's You can't... Uh, we can't uh, bail this stuff. If I get further out, it's still noisy. Okay. Otherwise, fold. Yeah, it's G. All the controls are out over here, right? What turns them on? Okay, C. 
V, B, B. Where the heck was B? Turn off. He's up there. Okay. So turn him on. That does everything. All right. We'll do that. And am I in the row? Kind of. Let's get over there. Yeah. I already missed some. Pull back a little. There we go. Now am I actually... I think that looks about right. Looks like he's up there at seed level. Yeah, I think that looks good. Line myself up there. And jump back in cab where it's quieter. Yeah. Though I think we could trust the the uh, worker over there with that equipment. I don't think I need to pop back in there just yet. Let's go ahead and do some harvesting ourselves. Harvesting's fun. Of course, it's also fun when you're running multiple harvesters and you're acting as the uh, the trailer in between, trying to keep up with them. It's the, the When you hire a worker with this guy, it'll pop the tube out when you drive up alongside so you can empty them out and Especially if you're running the same crop, you just go from harvester to harvester. When you're running different crops, then you get the challenge of running uh, tandem trailers, trying to get the tube to drop into just the right trailer as it opens up, so you can have different uh, different crops in each one. Now, if I right if I remember right, it was it's not. Oh, there it is. So you can do this, swing around, line up again. Don't have to turn it off, but it feels a little more professional too. There we go. And I think that's what the hired hand does too. And you don't have to worry about knowing what speed to... I'm missing a bunch, aren't I? I don't like missing. It drives me nuts. You don't have to worry about what speed to harvest at. I've got my pedal floored. And uh, it stops at 6, so... It automatically you know, sets a governor or something. It won't allow you to, to go beyond what the uh, the head can take. <clears throat> the hitbox is different on the rows depending on the direction that you hit it at. If I veer in just a little bit, I'll be leaving a row behind. From the other direction, I can be outside of it a little bit and still catch it. So it's a little bit, uh, yeah, just missed that, even though I hadn't really veered away. I'm inside of it and still missing it. So you gotta almost stay to the outside a little bit more. Um, when the harvest, when the hired worker is doing it, he nails it every time because the computer knows what it's doing. I'm just faking it. <laughs> go, drop you down, and let's take it a little bit wider this time, so we can kind of even this out. Something like that, is that going to, yeah, that's working, okay. On the outside, that's what it looks like, and you can't, I'll tell you what, let's hire this, because hired get far enough away. I still can't get far enough away. That's right, the harvester wouldn't let me do that. When the harvester is hired, then uh, I remember right, there's no distance you can move away and, and have it quiet down, whereas other times you can. But um, yeah, this one doesn't allow you to uh, leave something behind that you can bail, so you don't have to worry about choosing properly. You did miss it. That's because I missed it. Ah, uh, I left that a little bit behind. Okay. Let's unhire. Yeah, we'll swing around here and pull back in. Catch this. It doesn't amount to very much. It's just a matter of me wanting to make it look right. But uh, it takes an awful lot of soy to, to amount to anything. That's why soy costs more. It's more... Uh, it's it's harder to uh, it's more rare. We'll put it that way. You get a you get less yield out of a field, so you get more per quantity. So the idea that you want to plant soy because it sells for more 
is offset by the fact you're going to get far less out of the same field. So really you're getting about the same as, as any of the other crops. So don't fall for that. It's, it's roughly the same per pound. It takes more field to get pounds of canola and soy. This is soy here. Soy and canola both the same way. They're higher priced because you get far less yield out of it. If this was wheat, I'd already have a full uh, harvester. But we're just coming up on, what, 40% there? 35%. And if you've got a field that doesn't have much grass at the end, so you can't turn the equipment around, you can go through beforehand and take the headland off, I think is what it's called. You know, kind of run a racetrack around the field and clean up the outside. Then, because the, the hired worker doesn't necessarily go to the end of the field, he goes to the end of the crop. So if you take two or three rows off the end of the crop, you suddenly have enough room to turn the big equipment around. There's a little pro tip for you, help you out so that uh, you can make your, your, your not very intelligent hired hands a whole lot smarter. In fact, when I'm doing this, I like to come off the end and then spin a circle. If you hit it just right, it takes practice, you land just in the right spot to, to line up again. And then off you go. That's what I was trying with field... Was it field 5? There's one field when I was doing that. A little clover relief, a little, little turn at the, at the corners. I think it was 5. One of them. And I don't know that it really made it any faster or not. It might have. You know, the offset is that you're shortening the distance on all four sides so that you're doing an awful lot more turning at the end, whereas if you had just gone, taken the time to make the 180 degree turn at the end, you'd be the full length of the field each time, so far less turns. So while the turn is faster this way, it, uh, you don't have to go out and make a loop and come back, you can just do a hard 90. But um, you still end up, whoa, there's a drop off over there. You still end up probably about the same amount of time to, to harvest the field. Yeah, maybe after this one we'll turn the, uh, the hired hand loose on this and head over and see how the other one's doing. What else is going on? Let's think about this. Should be nothing else. Oh, there's another one of these. That's right, they both uh, har are harvesting at the same time. Um, turn him off. Let's line this guy up. And let the hired hand take it. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Something like that, right? Like that. There we go. Hire you out. That. There you go. Okay. So, in that case... There we go. See, now it's it's quiet enough. Okay. Um, in that case, we really could use a second harvester. Interesting. We could because we've got. All right. Here's the other canola, and nope, he's still growing. Never mind. What did I see? I saw yellow there, and I thought I saw yellow here guess I didn't. So that's not the case. We still don't have two fields harvesting at the same time, so we don't really need the two harvesters yet. Okay. You are doing that, and green is good. So we're one-third done with that field, and he seems to be doing just fine. Not seeing any skipped areas. No, we've got good clean edges. He's doing fine. So what do we need to be doing right now? Let's think about this. Well, we can get ready to empty him. That'd be the next step. Though, he's got to hit... Well, okay, we're at 35% at about here. Let's do it this way. That's not what I wanted. Um, this way. All right, we came up from this side. So, 
35 was about there. A little beyond half. It's going to need to be dumped. Okay. If I tabbed, nothing would happen. Where does that put us? Back over here. Don't normally tab between vehicles. I like to keep it a little more real, but in this case, yeah. I'm thinking we'll save the Massey Ferguson in case we actually have a real job to do. And let's take let's take this guy. Yeah, the New Holland. He's got gas. Let's hook up a trailer. We don't need much. A tipper? I guess that's not the better word for it. I think trailer works for me. And there's not gonna be a lot of volume coming out of there. I'm trying to remember if one of our little ones. Do we still own any little ones? Do we trade all those in? What's over here? Yeah, we still have them. Let's grab a little one. And that should be more than adequate. That looks like... What are you? You're wheat. You're wheat. So canola's out over there. And canola is the one that turns uh, uh, bright yellow when it's ready to harvest. Real pretty crop. Alright, where to place him? He's going to be ready to go oh, somewhere in here, but I want to make sure that uh, uh, the harvester has plenty of room to turn around. So what else is there to do right now? That's right. I had wanted to set up one of these with the... Let's run over here. I'm trying to pull back all those memories of those last few episodes of this series. I wanted the very structure that I did put in and set up a series of these conveyors so we could dump all of the potatoes in and it would just automatically dump out the back wall. I don't know if I can pull that off this time. Not sure. But we could certainly go and figure that out. Let's, uh, let's grab this guy. Helper A has nearly a full tank of grain. Really? Okay. Well, let's go deal with that. It's a little sooner than I was expecting. Over here. Jump out. Alright, where's his... When he turns around, it'll be on the correct side. He's flashing. Okay. I don't remember that warning coming up before. Is that a recent update? I mean, the flashing was my warning. But not uh, something telling me. At least he made it so he can turn around. That's good. That way the two will be out this side. Let's let him do his thing, and we'll come up alongside of him. But it's quieter right now to do this. So he backs up. Alright, let's come up alongside him and see if we can get this going. Get the tube out as soon as we get in range. If I stay back here... There we go. Boy, how did the cruise control work? Uh, Alright, I'm thinking it had something to do with 1, 2, and 3. Let me just steer it first. Steering is hard. Alright, in there. What does 3 do? 3 is... Okay, cruise control. There we go. Let's take that back down to 6. Alright, there. And then... 3? Three? 3 does it. And take it down slower to 5. And then steer. There we go. That's working. Here's my cruise control. It's so one, two, and three. One slows down, two speeds up, and three locks it. And it's need to speed up. Okay. Now, if we stop right here, he will stop. Arr, stop right there. At the end of his row, he's not doing it. Okay, we're just going to have to pull 6,000 out of there. What was the capacity of that, of that harvester? I have forgotten. That harvester right there. Capacity six. We basically got him emptied. Okay. So six did what? 
Uh, P, escape. Almost half. Ah. So we dump them again at the, well, right about here. 60%. Then he will definitely have enough to finish. And we can go off somewhere else. I'm thinking we could go over and grab a conveyor belt and head over to field three into the new uh, uh, placeable over there, the new uh, carports or whatever they're called, and uh, see if it's possible to set one side up to dump potatoes into our trailers afterwards. Yeah, okay. So get me out of that. Let's wait a little longer for this guy to make probably two, three more rows. And while we're waiting, I guess we can look at the shop again and just see what we want to buy. Or do we just move this stuff over there? That's probably a little more economical. Yeah, that's probably better. Um, we know we're going to need to be up at the other end. May as well do that. Actually, may as well get back into the old pattern of how I used to do this. I've kind of forgotten how to play this game. First of all, let's go park him up there. Because we want to be on this side of him when the tube is out. So we'll be unloading him from here. See, he's turned his lights on automatically. That's nice. So let's park this. Somewhere like that. That's kind of out of the way. And there. Then let's get the... What? Got to see what we actually need here. Why? Oh, I've got my foot on the accelerator. <laughs> it's going crazy on here. Um, growth, soil composition. We're coming in with no fertilization, but we do not need any plowing. Okay. So this one we can spray afterward. So let's just get the uh, um, the cultivator out. Let's go that route. And the cultivator takes a good sized tractor, which is probably what I meant when I said, let's save the Mag Massey Ferguson in case we actually have to do something important. And yeah, mouse wheel doesn't do any good. There we go. So Massey Ferguson and the cultivator. And let's head over to probably that corner and get started. And by the time we get all that set up, he'll be ready. He'll be at about the 60% mark. We can dump him off. And then we're free to go off and do something. Let the cultivator do his job. Hopefully get back in time to clear equipment out of the way. Massey is here. I already started using that one. Okay. You have got fuel too. Good. Let's grab the cultivator. Cultivator is this big gigantic one over here. Do we have room? I think we do have room here. I don't think room is an issue on, the, on this field. This one might be a problem at the at the end over there. Uh, there, like so. There we go. And Q not tab. Yes. Straight out. Don't clip it. Then make the turn. Yeah, we're good. X unfolds it. This is what I thought I was going to be doing with the potato harvester, or planter. Yeah, that is a nice cultivator. Nice wide path. I like this one. Now there is... You know, there are ways to do the plowing cultivating both at the same time. But this will do a great job. Hire you out. Kind of missing a little bit there. Oh well. I doubt there are many fields that are perfect at the edges. Just do what you gotta do. Now my tractor's probably in the way, but I think when we get up to the end here we'll jump off and wait for him to come back and that'll be our, our last emptying and we can go off and do something else. We're at 40 minutes already. Man, I think these episodes are gonna be a, kind of a bit longer. Although the Craft of the World episodes are going longer than I had been doing before. I went ahead and got back to the 40-45 minute mark. It's so hard to turn these games off when you're enjoying them. Although, it is hard to sit down and watch a, a video that long too at times when people are busy. Yeah, 
Uh, Night Ghost is back to doing uh, Fallout 4, and he's doing 40 to 50 minute episodes. And, and as much as I enjoy the game, it is kind of hard to sit back and, and spend that much time watching. Although, for me, I just... Let's see, can I back out a little? It's the same loudness. Oh, I was supposed to jump out. Um, for me, you know, I just watch them on my computer, so I'll uh, pop a, a Chrome tab and and uh, turn his video on. Then when I've got something else to do, I'll just hit pause and half hour later go back and watch another 20 minutes of it and pause. And So I, I make it work. I'm counting on you guys to find your own system to make this work too because I don't want to turn this off. Okay, let's get this guy emptied and take a little tractor. Oh, look at the dandelion. And a little tractor and grab the, uh, probably the case tractor, and grab the conveyor belt and run over to the other field, take a look at that situation, assess it, and then we'll call it an episode. Alright, let's get him position, uh, block his path. Wow, that scared me. I got, I got into there. Wow. Alright, pull out all the way so it's not so loud. We already have our cruise control set. It's just a matter of lining it up and hitting three. Something like that. Are we happy? We're pretty happy. So last time did have a trailer, this ought to do the rest of the trailer. And if I stay up here, it won't be so loud. Hit two to speed up. One to slow down, that locks us in, good. <clears throat> so we'll hit a little... Oh, we're there. See how it's no longer pouring in quickly down there in the blue? But uh, 89, 9,000 just little spurts. That means his tank is empty and it's just happening as he's producing it. And he's not producing it very fast if you look at that. So let's pull this guy off to the side. And lights off. And we'll just park him over here for now. That'll be fine. We could even put a, another tractor with a sower in behind the cultivator there and get the next crop going, but I think that's a little bit much to try to squeeze in and in the episode at a, at a decent time. So let's turn him off, hop out, and lights are off. Yep. Grab the case. Which is just... A little tractor is what uh, you start off the map with, but he does a good job. I hate to just say, uh, you know, goodbye to him. Now, got to think about this mess. Remember how this works. E is this one. Can I cue and unattach? I cannot. So that's this one. E. If I go over here. There we go. Q. I am unattached. Can I drive something? How does this work? I thought these guys were self-driving. F1. Start engine. Because I've got that mod. Oh, is this a mod? No, F in uh, Simulator 15 it was a mod. This one is stock, I think. That's right, you go to the options and you choose whether or not you have to start your equipment. It's just that you wouldn't think that this would have an engine, and it doesn't. It's just that it's a it's a machine, so it follows the same rules. Okay, so you back up, and am I out of you? Now I am. Let's grab you and start the engine. And I want to say, pull it in, you are in. Up is... I am up. Okay. There we go. I'm up as far as it'll go. Alright, let's go forward. And just to kind of break him loose. Alright, we can handle that. Hop out of you. Back into this one. So that kind of simulates actually being out there and picking up the tongue and, and moving the thing manually. So I don't have the ability to do that in this game. I don't think. I know you can walk around and pick up eggs, but I don't think you can manipulate any of the equipment by hand, other than the chainsaw. But let's get this guy out over there, and check out progress over here. It's possible that the cultivator is going to catch up just as the harvester gets uh, to the end, but 
That'll be fine. We want to... Eh, we'll take this route. One of the few times I'll cut across a field. It's, it's empty. Where's my road? There's my road. We'll head out to the new potato field. <clears throat> and just make sure everything's going okay over there. We'll see what it's going to take to set up a place to dump the potatoes into that... Uh, into that bay. And call this one done. I think I'm hitting about 45 minutes right now. Yeah, this game, I had Farming Simulator 15 before I had this YouTube channel. I would get off of work, grab dinner, say hi to the family, and start my second job at night. And that was the job of being a farmer. And Oh, midnight or so, I would finally feel satisfied enough until the next night after dinner. Family didn't see me much for a while when this came out. This was so much fun. Did the West Westbridge Hills, was that what it's called? The main map for Farming Simulator 15. And I harvested most of those fields. Back then, you didn't get hired out to do jobs. That wasn't a thing. Where am I going? I'm going past them. So you just had to buy them and, and, uh, and do it yourself. So there was an auction system, that's right. So a certain field would come up for auction or you could just buy it outright. But with the auction, you could uh, get a much better deal. And basically you just waited until the last second they put your bid in. That way there wasn't time for the AI, AI to bid against you. You just had to remember... 11.59, you had to be there, standing on there, hitting R and, and saying yes. Here's the cab in case you are new to this game. Simple old tractor. Can't steer and look down. Um, actually, I want this end of the field. Uh, of that field over there, but I can get there from here. In fact, that's the place we'll right there. Okay. Let's look at that distance again. Is, is there going to be any problem with this guy being blocked? Where's he at? He's going the other way right now. Has he been up in this... F he's getting close to the end already. Yeah, we got here just in time. How... Uh, let's park right here. How are these rocks? Yeah, I think he can pull this off. He may go up on the rock a little bit, but I think he can do this. See, he's not going to be able to back up very well. The AI does not back a trailer very well. It does try. So, if we were to fill this up... Let's back this in. Oh, there's a, there's a fence there. Who put that there? Sure, there wasn't there before. <laughs> Okay, let's put him in here, and we'll hop out there and just grab the, uh, the tongue and, and move it around manually. So if we were to dump potatoes in here, and then have maybe a couple of these guys on this edge sticking out that way, and then we can pull up with the trailer... All right, back it up into there underneath and load. And then pull out and go do what we need with it. And then because the... Um, oh, I've got my foot on the pedal. Stop! Okay, brakes. Because you can extend out all the way through the roof, we could move this guy further in as the potato pile recedes. We can move toward the potatoes and extend the arm out. So I think this will work. Um... Let's see. Forward is back and back is forward, huh? I guess so. Everything's reversed. Let's go... Why can I not go any further? I can go there. I'm hitting. What am I... Oh, I'm hitting up there. Okay. Let's try that. So he's longer than I thought. I'm, uh, okay, there we go. So, this way... Do I go out the back end? Let's actually look back there first. I'm assuming I want to use the side. 
Could be done. How do we get here, though? That's a bit tricky. We could kind of go up this grade right here. Back into here. This feels a little bit better. Cannot pull this off, and there's no way to deal with this in a tractor. No. I jump to the roof. Ah, oh, almost. <laughs> I kind of like this better. Let's see if the grade will let us, though. Left the headlights on. That's no good. All right. Let's see if this will work. So back to go forward. And right to go left. Oh, man. That hurts. Want to get one on each side? I think so. I think I want two of them in here. So I guess something like that. Yeah, that's more than enough. So can I get further? I can get all the way... All the way to there. Now if I go higher. A is finished. Who was A? A is... Here, right? That was the first one we hired. Couldn't be. Hmm. Anyway, that works. And I can pivot him in and get any amount of... Uh, any part of the pile. All right, I think that's that's good. All right, so with that, nope, he's still running. A must be the harvester. Okay, well I'm gonna go take care of A and C over there, and I think B must be over here. That could be D. Each each one of them has a set face, a set person that it actually is the helper. So A will always be the same person. Anyway, let's call this one done. I'll go take care of those guys and kind of finish out these fields. Maybe next episode we'll start uh, um, next morning, you know, dawn. Clean up the, the eggs, deal with the chickens, and then see what we need to do. I think he's going to be able to pull that off. Yeah. So, catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.